all right guys in this video i'll discuss about most gainer stock uh, last friday so let uh, let me show you last uh, friday stocks uh most gainer stocks somewhere here just a minute okay first here you can see tata motor uh, let me change the color okay now i can see here uh, this is the tata motor and uh, it gained 6.2 percent and the next birdie airtel 3.81 percent and third upl which is 2.58 percent and itc 1.7 three percent and last grassim or uh, 1.25 uh, but just finance so it's a little more change but no need so let's check it these stocks uh, is it there by opportunity or not uh, today so first let's jump to our first one tata motors and uh, let me show you here this is the tata motor and uh, right now 15 minute chart so first we must find out some support and resistance and then now you can see let me show you first first thing we must find out the trend now let's see the trend so in that case we will use at least three trend all right to uh, confirm the trend so first here you can see uh, let's see in a daily clear uptrend h1 clear uptrend why we are recognizing as a uptrend because all moving averages are arranging sequentially and i can see this is small 20 exponential this is the 50 exponential this is the 100 exponential this is the 150 and this is 200 all are exponential moving averages and now i can see all are arranging sequentially all right here is a smaller and here is a bigger all right means the trend is up remember when trend is up we are looking for buy only that is the rule okay now you can see every time frame at least we have to confirm at least three time frame now you can see 15 minute h1 and daily the trend is up means uh, the market is running an uptrend so we are looking for buy but most of the people are thinking hey let's go for buy uh, trend it up uh, trend is up so don't do that mistake we must have find out a supporting level so let me ex explain again okay when uh, remember one thing Tra uh, market never goes like a straight line like a rocket price always goes up like a wave all right there running like a wave so in that case we must wait to for a pullback all right so now you can see in this wave we have seen this the pullback and we catch the run before they create a new high all right now you can see pullback enter here for the buy pullback enter here so when trend is running uptrend we are using this technique this is called bouncing trading strategy so now you can see uh, before you enter in this market we must find out the market behavior all right what is this all right what is hacked now i can see when market is running in an uptrend like that they are supporting uh somewhere like you can see uh moving average or pbs swing point right some like that moving average is running some they are supporting and bouncing off moving averages or they are they are supporting uh, PBS, I can say uh, a resistance level. So let me show you in a real uh, chart. Now I can see this Tata Motor, and uh, they are bouncing of 50 moving embers. Have you seen bouncing of 50? And the bouncing of 50. This uh, red line is 50 exponential, and the 50. Now exactly here there are 50 moving embers. So it is a probability to bounce this 50 moving average so that is our buy opportunity so in that case let me show you some uh, resistance line so this is the resistance line and we connect that most recent swing point oh, i can see resistance line have you seen it they are bouncing up hit and reverse back hit and reverse back hit and reverse back hit and 
reverse back. Finally, they broke this area, create a new high and pull back again. This resistance line now forming in this as a support, right? Here, breakout point and now it's forming a support. So we must wait for a pullback and we need a buy confirmation. So definitely we'll go for buy above, sorry, 2480, uh, 248. So in this level, all right, we're looking for buy. This is the Tata Motors. So let's see another uh, gainer stock, Verdi Airtel. All right, so next, uh, next is Verdi Airtel. So let's just jump to Verdi Airtel. Where is that? VH, Verdi Airtel, okay. This one. So now I can see what is the rule. First, you see uh, at least three time frame. Is it up frame? Yeah. H4, you can see H4 also. Or you can see daily also. All right. Now you can see H4, H1, daily, 15 minute, whatever. All are running in an up trend. Now you, you must find out the behavior. So let, let me show you. All right. Let, let's see. Price pullback near 50 moving average bounce again. Pullback. This red line is at 50. So let me zoom here a little more. Okay. All right. Now you can see here. Uh, pull back near 50, bounce, pull back. This red line is 50, bounce, pull back, bounce, and we need a pull back near 50 moving average. This is called market behavior because, and according to the previous history or previous record, uh, price are bouncing off 50 moving averages. So that is why we need a bounce. Off. So we are looking for a pull back and we need a confirmation. So most of the people are thinking, hey, what confirmation we need? first confirmation at least we are looking for a bullish candlestick pattern exactly above that line so above 50 moving average so let me show you here so first here you can see price uh, pullback and we have seen this is the bullish uh, pin bar all right now you can see here 50 moving average we have seen multiple bullish pin bar and price just opened a gap up so now we are looking for a Pull back near 50 moving average, and we need a bullish can uh, bullish candlestick pattern, uh, bullish engulfing pattern, bullish pin bars like that. All right. So another you can see uh, most of the people are using uh, different indicators. So you can apply here also. All right. Uh, this is the uh, body Airtel. Okay. Let's check it. Another UPL. Let's go for UPL. UPL, yeah, this one. <coughs> okay, now you can see here. Uh, first rule 15 minute uptrend, H1 uptrend, 4 hour. Okay, taking, yeah, uptrend, all moving events are ending sequently. So we are looking for buy. Now you must find out the market behave here, and here you can see they are bouncing off uh, 50. The bouncing of 100 and the bouncing of 300. So let's see here. Means there we have seen we have seen three uh, behavior now. So first 50 moving on average. Sorry, average they are bouncing of 50. Another uh, 100 they are bouncing of 100. Another 200 they are bouncing of 200 exponential moving average. Now recently they are bouncing of 50. You seen 50. Now you can see price are too far from moving average. We are not looking for buy. So we need a pullback near 50 moving average. So uh, we are looking for buy when price will give a pullback. So definitely we will go for buy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.